how to clean after bed bug treatment. A lot of people ask me how they should clean their homes after bed bug heat and chemical treatment in a way that won't adversely affect the chemical that is laid down during the treatment. It's an excellent question because the chemical is placed around the structure of the house and its furniture. Here's how I always advise the best ways to clean immediately after treatment day. How to clean your home after treatment day? You don't want the dead bed bugs to stay in your room or on your bed so the first thing you will be doing is vacuuming. The vacuum is your best friend because you can vacuum as much as you want, wherever you want. I recommend taking the hose of your vacuum and going around the edges of the mattresses that have bed bugs on them, sucking up all the dead bed bugs. Remember, bed bugs get on the top and the bottom edges of a mattress. Then vacuum underneath the bed as well as the back of the headboard as these areas are usually where the dead bed bugs will still be after the heat treatment. You can also vacuum the floors around the baseboards. Most important thing to remember. The most important thing to remember while cleaning is not to use any wet cleaning methods on baseboards or beds, or backs of bedside tables for at least 7 weeks after treatment day. Wet cleaning methods such as wet wipes or spray and wipe techniques will wipe the chemical residuals off, leaving no protection from possible re-entry of future bed bugs. Dry cleaning is recommended for dusting. When mopping your floors, just stay away from the edges by the walls by at least 4 inches for the first 2 weeks after treatment day. You can also apply this rule when wiping down your countertops, staying away from the back wall by about 4 inches. By doing this, you are keeping the chemical residual on the most popular pathways that most bugs, including bed bugs take when traveling throughout a home. Baby and toddler cleaning after bed bug treatments. If you have babies or young ones that might put their mouths on a certain part of their crib or any furniture that's in your home after the heat and chemical bed bug treatment then, in that case, you would want to use a wet cleaning method like wet wipes on those specific areas before allowing the youngster to re-enter the home. This is just an added precaution that we tell all of our parents. It helps ensure that the drifting chemical that unintentionally gets on these areas during a bed bug treatment is wiped away immediately. When you can resume normal cleaning, seven weeks after your bed bug treatment, you can resume all your normal cleaning methods without being cautious of any certain areas. The chemical will remain in very important places regardless of cleaning like in between the folds of the curtain tops and the window frames and in between the dresser drawers and the bottom of furniture pieces, etc. We always recommend that one week before two months after your treatment day is up, to call dead bug walking for a preventative spray to reapply the chemical insecticide and biological spores that will be worn down after 60 days. 